Hello, friends. Today, let's solve power x n problem. Implement power x n, which calculates x raised to the power n. Let's see some examples. If the given x is two point zero 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 n equal to ten, then we just return a double inter uh double value, which is. One thousand and twenty-five. Uh, you can see n can be an old integer. It is not necessary to be an an even integer, and uh, n can also be a negative integer. So how to solve? Uh, I mean, how to calculate uh, my power x? Uh, raised to a negative integer. We can just uh, convert uh, this negative integer to a positive integer, and uh, we use one um, divide uh, this given x. So we just need to calculate uh, my power one over x to negative n, and you will see the n uh, the range of n is from negative two to thirty nine. To, uh, thirty nine minus one. So it's actually the integer minimum value to the integer max value. Okay, this is how to, as I mentioned, how to calculate, uh, uh x to n when n is a negative number. You will see we may, uh, meet some problem here. Okay, the brute force, uh, solution is just uh, keep, uh, um. Multiply this x, so it is obvious that the time complexity is big O n because we just keep uh, uh, multiply this x. But we can use binary search. How to use binary search? Let's see this example. If we want to calculate two to six, uh, we just need to multiply two six times. So this is actually two two two. Two 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 two. So this is actually two two four. Uh, if we uh, at the very beginning we only have two, so two times two we can get a two two two, and a two 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 times two 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 we can have two two four, and the two two four times two two four we will get a two two eight. So we will see actually we cannot get a two two six. But if we times two 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 times two two four, we can actually get two two six. So that's the magic here. We need to save these two value. So how to save these two value? Well, um, at first we uh the n is six. We need to divide it. It first uh, six divide two equal to three, and the three divide two equal to one, and the one divide two equal to zero. So, actually, we just need to uh do three times um three operations. Okay. Uh, so first we will use a variable. We call it i, and it equal to six at first. So we just uh, do these things. We uh let uh, two times two, we get a two two two. And uh, as I said,、uh, we need to save this value, so we just、uh, save this two 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 to the result. A result. We use another variable. We call it a result. And then, a、uh, six、uh, over two equal to three. So current i equal to three. And、uh, we do the same thing. We use two 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 times two 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 get two、uh, two four. Again, we need to save this. Value, so we just、uh, use the result、uh, times this value because previously we already have this two two two. So this time we just need、uh, use current、uh, value times result. We get a new result which is two two six. Okay, we keep、uh, use three divide two. We have one, and this time i equal to one. Okay, we do this thing. But we do not need to save this value. And、uh, as i equal to one, i divide two equal to zero. So we just、uh, end this whole 
for loop. So you will see the condition of this for loop is i greater than zero. Okay. So we use the current product uh, to represent uh, this value. At the uh, beginning, it is equal to the x, right? It's x, and uh, we keep uh, use it uh, multiply itself to update this value. So this operation we can just uh, formulate it to result times uh, current product. Okay. So you will notice uh, this two uh, for these two situation, we actually times this current product to the result. Uh, this is when the i equal to 3 and the i equal to 1. So it is has one common thing that is i module 2 equal to 1. So only when i module 2 equal to 1, we times this current product to the result. Other time, we just uh, do the current product uh, times itself. OK, so the algorithm is straightforward. That means we use a um, for loop and the for loop that I start from this n. Every time we divide uh, it by two. And uh, when the i module two equal to one, we let the uh, current product uh, times two result. And every in every um, iteration, we let uh, we let uh, current product uh, times itself. Okay, let's see another example, see whether this algorithm is correct or not. If x equal to 3, the n equal to 5. So it actually 3, 2, 2 times 3, 2, 2 and uh, times 3. So when i, at first, uh, i equal to 5, this is the for loop. When i equal to 5, 5 module 2 equal to 1. So we should uh, save this current uh, pr product which is 3 so result will times 3 and then 5 module 2 equal to 2 and then 2 module 2 not equal to 1 so we do not need to uh, save this current current product to the result we just do 3 times 3 equal to 3 to 2 and keep doing the same thing uh, when i equal to 2 we do the current product uh, times itself so we get uh, 3 to the f 3 to 4. Okay. And uh, then 2 divide 2 equal to 1. So in this iteration, we know i module 2 equal to 1. So we should save this um, current product uh, uh, times the result equal to 3 to 5. And we also do these things. But we uh, in we do not have next iteration because currently i equal to one, and uh, if we use i mode uh, divide to it is uh, equal to zero, so we actually end this for loop. So you should notice that uh, in every iteration, we first check whether i module two equal to one. If it equal to one, we times the current product to result, and after this operation, we do the current product uh, equal to current product times itself. OK, so the tip here, actually, I mentioned before, for the uh, initialization about uh, current product, it equal to x, not equal to uh, 1.0. Because at first, it equal to x. And uh, in, if we are in the for loop, we use current product times itself. OK. So can you come up with some edge cases? What if n equal to negative 2, 2, 31? Uh, we should get the negative n, which is equal to 2, 2, 31, which, caused, uh, uh, which it will cause integral overflow. So we should use a loan. And uh, we name it. Uh, capital N and it equal to N. And other thing just the same. We just uh, translate this algorithm to code. OK, let's write the code. We have a result equal to 1.0. And uh, we also have a loan, uh, which is capital N equal to N. So if this N less than 0, what should we do? We know the x should be 1 divide x. How about uh, this n? n should be uh, negative n. 
You should notice you cannot write n equal to negative n. If you write like this, it will cause integer overflow. So you will get a wrong result. So you should notice it is negative capital N. Okay. And uh, we have a current product at the uh, beginning equal to uh, 1.0. So for this long i equal to n, um, and uh, i greater than 0, i divide equal to, we should check the first. If i module 2 equal to 1, then we should uh, times this current product to the result. Otherwise, the current product will multiply by itself, current product. In the end, just a return result. Mm, OK, let's see what's wrong. Um, equal to 1.0 n equal to n, yes. If uh, n less than 0, x equal to 1, divide n, uh, x, n equal to negative n, correct. OK. Oh, sorry. Uh, I made a mistake. I actually remind you before, we should initialize this current product to x not 1.0. Because uh, as you can see, every time for like uh, when i equal to the n first uh, we use this current product times itself so actually we should initialize it to x uh, only we initialize the current product to x we can get x to 2 raised to 2 so you should not notice here okay Thank you for watching. See you next time.